Okay, uh, here we go. I'm going to start with this uh, daguerreotype uh, lesson. And if I look over here, I brought in my template and my layers panel, I should have two layers, one that says scratches and one that says daguerreotype texture. Um, you've already downloaded this once. You could find it on your desktop or in your folder and bring that in and uh, before you bring your photo in. So I want to change this from a horizon to have it in portrait format. And the way I do that is um, I come up to Photoshop and I say image and I put image rotation clockwise. Good. Uh, now I can place my photo. And the way I place it is by going to file, uh, place embedded. Okay place embedded and I want to click on that and it'll open up my folder uh, where I have my photo and I'm going to click on it and say place and it drops it down right on top of my plate so I'm going to drag this transform over my plate uh, and then I'm going to go up to this check mark just like we did when we're cropping and check that. Okay, the first thing I want to do in my layers panel is uh, bring this photo down below the scratches and the daguerreotype texture. So I drag it down there and I can't see it anymore so I want to uh, inactivate these layers by turning off that little eye on each one to where I can see my photo again. I then am going to go down to my add adjustment the little half moon we've been talking about. And I'm going to find the black and white and click on that. And that brings up uh, this panel here. And it has a preset at the top that's in the default mode. I'm going to click on that and make her very, very dark by going to this high contrast blue filter. And uh, click on that. And as you can see, I've made her very, very dark. Um, what I want to do is grab the dodge tool and uh, make her a little bit lighter. All right, uh, Her eyes are fine. There's no big shadows in there. But I want to get the highlights of her hair and some of her features on her face and her neck uh, a little bit lighter. So there's two layers here. The black and white layer is highlighted and the Mariposa uh, photo layer is not, but it's right below that. I want to copy this Mariposa. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to copy it or duplicate it. And there's two ways to do that. There's Command J and also we can right click on the <coughs> layer and create a duplicate. Uh, for the sake of the recording, I'm going to right click so you can see, and I'm going to right click duplicate layer, and I'm going to say OK. Um, now I want to combine this copy with the black and white layer, just like we did with Dodge and Burn. Uh, but I'm not going to put it in a folder. So the way to do that is I'm going to hold down my shift key, and then I'm going to click the black and white. And instead of dragging them into that folder or clicking this folder, I'm just going to hit Command and the letter E on my keyboard. That's E as in Edward. And once I do that, it merges that layer. So now I can dodge, use the dodge tool. I want to make sure my foreground, background, has the white in the foreground. And I grab my dodge tool. I think that's it. Yep. Make sure I have it. I'm going to come up here and click on this to make sure that the hardness on that tool is at zero. Uh, I'm going to look at the range. I want it in midtones. And the exposure, I'm going to start out really light at like 25%. Yeah. Um, and then my brush is going to be set about, oh, probably somewhere around 200. 
And I'm just going to start going over her a little bit, very slightly. Uh, that's why my exposure set so low, so I don't overdo it right away. And just lightening it up a little bit, a little bit for now. Uh, let me get some of her forehead, lighten that. Some of her nose, because it's kind of dark. And right around the upper part of her cheeks, but I'm going to leave that darkness, that shadow there. I'm going to get her lips and her chin a little bit lighter. And this isn't a fashion play, right? We're trying to make this photo older, not to cover some magazine. So uh, it's not about the aesthetic quality at this moment. Okay, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to go over to this black and white layer, which I've been working, and I'm going to click the layer right on top of it, the daguerreotype layer. And I'm going to click on that little eye to, so I can see it. Uh, I can't see her anymore, so I'm going to go to the blend mode, which is set at normal right now, and click on that and go to soft light. Okay, it's looking better. I'm getting closer. But I need to darken this again with another layer. And I'm going to add a multiply layer. And I'm going to do that by copying this one. So I'll right click on it, duplicate it, say OK. And then when this layer is highlighted, I'm going to change this to multiply and making her dark again. So I'm getting close to being done. Uh, I want to have one more opportunity to lighten her up a little bit. And I'm going to do that with a brush. So I'm going to go over to the brush tool, right click on that, make sure I have the brush. Um, I'm going to come up here. I want the hardness down to zero. And the mode should be in normal. And this time the opacity is OK at 100. And this flow should be at 100 too. And I can just click on her, and now I'm really going to highlight these hair. So I make sure I see that in the final photo, right? Um, this is kind of a close-up for this particular uh, photo, and it's probably not the best. I wouldn't recommend you guys shooting a photo this close. Um, I think I would put her back more. Um, it's got this big scratch on here. It's got this watermark there. Uh, it's definitely looking aged. Uh, I'm liking it. I think it looks good. Okay, uh, I'm done with that. I'm going to do two more things. I'm going to go above the layer we're on to the scratches layer and activate that. And then so I can see it, I'm going to click on the eye. And she goes away, and I have this big black thing. So I'm going to get rid of that by going to the blend mode and changing it from normal to screen. And now I can see all those timely scratches on her. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is go and add a sepia look, a sepia color. So I need to add an adjustment layer, the half moon. Click on that. Instead of choosing black and white like we usually do, I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation and click on that. And that opens this uh, on top of my layers panel. Uh, right up here next to these eyedroppers, I can see this word says Colorize. And the box is empty. I'm going to click on that. And she turns this bright sepia color. It's too much. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Hue. And right here where it says zero, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to type in the number 36. And I can see that it's changed that. And now I have my daguerreotype look or style. Uh, I've aged this picture quite a bit. I can now uh, be done. Or I can add some text at the bottom by grabbing some uh, my text tool, which is right there. Uh, I want the horizontal text tool. And I can type in, um, I can choose the font that I want from over here. I can choose the size of it. I would stay in sharp. 
uh, but I can change the text size to a much smaller one. And then I can um, type that in. I'll leave that up to you. Okay.